Welcome to the Code Man Chronicles. He will show you his life every day. Welcome to the Code Man Chronicles. Watch, subscribe, and... If you guys didn't know this, today is my 69th video. As I said in yesterday's video that uh, for like a 69th video special, I will do something special. Well, this kind of came unaware to me that this was the 69th video. So tomorrow, during episode 70 of the Codeman Chronicles, I'll have a video out for you. A special video out for you. Um, today, I just want to go along and just say what I need to say during my, you know, how I usually do. Two days ago, I got pulled over by a police officer. And if you guys didn't know this recently, that I hit a deer in my new truck that I was riding with my brother about three months ago. I hit a deer and I haven't been able to get it fixed since then. So I've been driving without a headlight for quite a while and it's just not... <laughs> it sucked because I'm usually got stuff fixed right away but when the deer hit my vehicle though it was pretty bad. Well, it's not really like a lot of damage. It was just cost a lot of bit of money for it. So then the cop pulled me over and he asked me, sir, do you realize that you have a headlight out? I wanted to almost say to him, ah, no. Yeah, pretty much. But I, of course, like any good citizen, I decided to say that to a, to a police officer. So I just told him that I just hit a deer and he luckily he knew me from where I worked so kind of talked not really like on a personal level we just kind of talked like knew each other and stuff so he said that I told him it's like I'm getting it fixed tomorrow so you don't got to worry about it anymore he was like oh, okay so it just got me nervous though because I knew the police officer was following me all the way I think about like about like like two miles or something and what seemed like forever. And I was like, okay, if he's gonna pull me over, he might as well do it by now, right? So he did. So he pulled me over and I just looked at him weird and you know, like I said before, I explained the whole entire situation. But it just just makes me mad though. It's like, if he was gonna pull me over, why didn't he just do it then and there? Well then I was thinking myself, well maybe, you know, because I had a place to stop at. So but he was just, it was, it was just stupid. So, yeah. So then on my way home, I was driving home and this guy stayed on my ass the whole entire time. I hear, I thought it was a cop, so I let him, so it's like, oh, maybe, maybe he was looking at what, like, my license plate or something. But then it got worse for like 10 minutes. He was following me, so I hit the brakes slightly. The guy honked the horn at me. Hit the brakes a little early, honk the horn at me again. So it's like I was in, I was causing a problem from I was going the correct speed limit, and it just freaking pissed me off. But I, on my way home though, I like uh um hit like a raccoon, and then I hit a rabbit. So so since that guy was closer behind me, whatever was left over. <laughs> got splattered on his car so yeah so it's like I got this question for you though have you ever been so pissed off like do you guys get easily pissed off it's like a car on your ass the whole entire time but this guy had his brights on what do you do do you get all mad do you just keep on driving like nothing's going on or are you like you know like hit the brakes a little bit like hinting, like hinting towards him or something or like or like what, what do you do let me know in the comment section down below. Comment this on Facebook. Just let me know what you, you guys do. Well, this ends it for today's video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for listening to me. So, bye.